In the 1998 documentary, Listening to Sex Offenders, the crew interviewed a man called Gerald. In the interview, he explains how he molested his nine-year-old stepson. Some of the reading that I had done and the pictures that I had seen showed total submission. Uh, forcing the children to do what I wanted. And I had eventually started using some of this bondage and discipline with my own son. And uh, it had escalated to the point where I was putting a large Ziploc bag over his head and taping it around his neck with black duct tape or black electrical tape and raping and molesting him at that point. Uh, to the point that he would turn blue, pass out. Uh, at that point, I would rip the bag off his head, uh, not for fear of hurting him, but because of the excitement. I was extremely aroused by inflicting pain. And uh, when I seen him pass out and change colors, that was very arousing and heightening to me. And I would rip the bag off his head and then I'd jump up on his chest and I'd masturbate in his face and, and uh, make him suck my penis while he was, you know, as he started to come back awake. While he was coughing and choking, I would rape him in the mouth. I said, my, I told myself that my stepchild, you know, because he wasn't mine, because he wasn't my biological son, that he was less than human anyway. Uh, other people's children that I had raped and molested, they weren't mine. They weren't my biological children, so it didn't make any difference to me. I viewed children as a piece of meat. Just, to, me, to me, children were a toy. I'd do what I wanted with and then throw it away. And then I found that if the child tried to pull away or would scream, holler, cry, and, and all my lying to myself would enhance that and make it more arousing to me. And the pain, the, the aspect of inflicting pain was extremely arousing. It was something that had taken time to build up. It didn't just happen. It took time to build that up. Uh, <clears throat> and after a while, I, would take and, I could actually take and turn it around to the child was screaming because they wanted more. The child was screaming actually because they liked it. Uh, the child was screaming because they wanted me to continue. And it's all turning it around and, and saying that that, uh, well, the tears really aren't real for hurt. The screaming isn't really because of pain. It's that the person actually wants this to happen. I had been fantasizing about killing a victim during the course of, of rape or molest about five or six months, uh, all during the course of the molestation of my stepson when I was using the zip layer, the plastic bag over his head. Uh, I had fantasized and thought about killing him, letting him go ahead and suffocate during the process of the molestation. Uh, I believe it would have been maybe as short as another month or two and I would have actually killed him if I was not arrested. 